uh, distinguished uh, Chairman Ho. Uh, hello, everyone. It's uh, with great pleasure to meet all of you here. This year is a special year in many ways, making me realize what's infinite creativity and boundless tourism. This is also the most ideal year for travel, as I can personally attest through visiting many countries, going to uh, many uh, places, discovering a wealth of hidden wealth, in, uh, making many friends, including Macau. I made uh, many friends in this process. I remain optimistic that the pandemic will eventually be contained. And what will the industry will be like in the future? Uh, first, I think uh, it's going to be about uh, high-end, small group leisure tours. Since many people cannot go over uh, overseas, the money they save will be spent on upscale hotels. And I think according to the trip.com st statistics, it's doing very well. And high-end guests will value experience more. Such business type based on the data of trip.com and they would like to see uh, more thematic tours and packages. And thirdly, the uh, scenic spots and destinations will offer more diversified in-depth themes. And hotels at the scenic spot tend to be more popular than those outside the scenic area. In the past, a scenic spot might welcome millions of people a year, but now there are only a few thousand rooms. Judging from the current trend, many scenic spots and uh, receive that receive millions of guests in the future should offer thousands of rooms. Fourthly, it's about a uh, night economy. When traveling, especially in terms of high-end and in-depth travel, people won't feel as exhausted. They may w have a lot of energy to experience. And the pandemic will be over, and we will see many inbound tourists from around the world coming to China because we have the best hotels, we have the best platforms. So we work together, we will have an even brighter future in this industry, and we will expand international tours together.